Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you three different eye looks using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. I picked this up sort of on a whim last December and I haven't really put it down since. And because I use it so much on my channel, this was a highly requested video. All three of these looks I've worn out and about in my real daily life and I plan to continue to recreate them in the future. The first look is a neutral smoky eye. I wore this out to dinner on a double date last weekend. I paired it with a little black dress and I absolutely love how it turned out. The second look is jewel toned. I created this for a recent video. It's perfect for spring and it really shows the versatility of the palette. For the third look, I wanted to create an all matte eye. When you see the Norvina palette, there's so much shimmer, but you certainly don't have to use it every single time. The face makeup is exactly the same for all three looks, so I'll show you the complete face tutorial in the third and final look. So let's begin. Anytime I'm creating a smoky eye or even just a medium intensity eye look, I start with my eyes first. So I'm going to prime my lids using just a teeny tiny bit of the Armani Power Fabric Concealer and then I'm going to blend that out with my tapered Kabuki brush from Sigma. I love using my Chanel concealer as an eyeshadow base, so we'll see what this is like with the Armani. It is a matte finish, but that's okay because you want your eyelids to be matte, or at least powdered finish, so that you can blend eyeshadow on top. So now I'm going into my Norvina palette, and I'm going to pick up the shade Incense. This is a light brown matte eyeshadow. I'm taking this on a fluffy brush, and I'm going to buff that into the crease as our transition shade. You've heard me say it time and time again, but truly these shadows are very pigmented, so you wanna start with a little bit of product and then build up from there. Next, on a flat shader brush, I'm going to pick up this light shade in the corner. This is Dreamer. I'm taking just a little bit of that, and I'm going directly to the inner lid. Using the same brush, I'm going into this really beautiful gold shade. This is Summer, and I'm going to take that to the middle lid. Next, with a more compact brush, I'm going to pick up this dark shade Passion and this I'm going to pack in the outer V area for dimension. So I've really taken over more than just the outer V, it's sort of just the outer half of the lid up to the crease, in the crease, not too much above it, and then extending out. Then using a blank fluffy brush, I'm going into the crease, a little bit above the crease to soften that transition. And I didn't have that much fallout, but I am gonna use the corner to just drag a sharp line up towards the tail of my brow. I am back, my face is done, I filled in my eyebrows, and I'm going back into the Norvina palette now with a very tiny little precision brush, and I'm going to pick up the shade Summer. 
very carefully <laughs> because these eyeshadows are very soft. And I'm going to line the lower lash line. Same brush. I'm going to pick up that shade Passion and I'm taking this under the lower lash line as well, but I'm really concentrating the color outside. I'm gonna take it halfway in. Maybe slightly more than half. Now I'm gonna pick up a pencil brush or you could use any sort of small tapered fluffy brush and I'm going to buff that out. And I wanna connect this shade up to the top. So I'm not really going around because I don't want it to become like a big raccoon eye, but I am starting to try to connect these two, the entire outer V area. Next, I'm going in with this deep brown waterproof eyeliner from Chanel, and I'm going directly in the waterline. I almost always use a dark brown, never black. You could always use black if that's something that you prefer. Next, I'm taking the Signature de Chanel eyeliner pen, the black liquid eyeliner, and I am going to line the top lash line and I am going to give myself a little wing. I'm gonna do my best to keep the line very thin on the inside of the eye and then slowly but surely get a little bit thicker towards the outside. And then final step, I am going to top my lashes with the Hypnostrama Mascara. As a final, final step, I am gonna take a little bit of that shade Dreamer and I'm gonna use it to highlight my brow bone Next, I'm going to finish with lips. When I wore this look the other day, I did a nude. I think you could do a pinky nude. Because we stayed neutral, you could create this look for a gala or a very special evening. You could do lashes with this look if you really wanted to take it to the next level. I think you could do just about any lipstick color because it is neutral. I am going to opt for... Yeah, I'm gonna stick with a nude lip, sort of a pinky nude. So I'm going in with my YSL Rouge Per Couture. This is the shade 70. And then I'm gonna top that off with a gloss. And I'm just gonna use this old Dior gloss. It's sort of a bronze shade with some shimmer. And that completes the look. Starting with the second look, I've already primed my eyelids the exact same way I did the first time around. And I'm taking another little fluffy brush and I'm picking up the shade Love. 
this light pink matte shade down here and that's going to be our transition shade in the crease so I'm just going to buff that in all over concentrating the color on the outside. Next, with a flat shader brush, I'm picking up the shade Wild Child, and I'm going to pack that all over the inner lid. The technique is really the same, or very similar to the first look. I'm just changing out the colors. Next, to add dimension, I'm taking another eyeshadow brush and I'm picking up the shade Soul. So I'm going into the outer V, outer lid area, and then using the flat side of the brush to carve into the crease. And then with a blank fluffy brush, I'm going to blend out the crease. Just soften that purple shade a little bit. I even picked up just a teeny tiny bit of the pink shade Love to help blend. So once again, I'm going to clean up the under eye. There's really not much fallout. Whenever you're using jewel tones though, you wanna be as careful as possible. Even if there's a little bit of pink or purple or blue or green, you definitely wanna remove it from the cheeks. I've completed my face makeup, I filled in my eyebrows, and now we're gonna finish the eyes. So with this small precision brush, I'm picking up this shade Celestial. It's a beautiful shimmering purple shadow, and I'm going to line my lower lash line using this. and I'm taking it all the way inside as well. I might have a little residual brown eyeliner on my waterline. I tried to clean it off, but I'm not going to add anything to the waterline. Instead, for the top lash line, I'm just gonna go in with my black liquid eyeliner. And once again, I'm using the signature de Chanel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and using Dreamer, I am going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner of the eye. For lips, I'm using the Givenchy Le Rouge Perfecto in Sparkling Pink.
And now for the third and final look. My eyelids are already prepped and primed and I'm taking a traditional eyeshadow brush and I'm picking up the shade Eccentric right here, the second to last. And I am going to apply this all over the lid, inside, outside, up to the crease, a little bit inside the crease, but not above it. Using the exact same brush, I'm now going into the shade Volatile. This is a very dark, sort of cool tone, espresso brown. And I'm going to pack that in the outer V and add some depth. Next, with a fluffy brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Incense. And I'm gonna use that shade to soften the crease. With another blank blending brush, I'm going to go on top to make sure that the eye doesn't get too dark and I'm going to go right on top of the crease area that we just blended to make it even softer. For foundation, I've been using the Dior Air Flash and a flat top Kabuki brush. So just gonna give that a nice shape. I spray directly on the brush and then I buff all over the face. For concealer, I'm going to use my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. Just a few small dots is all you need. Even though the concealer has a very matte finish, I am going to set with just a little bit of my Chanel Loose Powder. To bronze, I'm using my Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer. And for this look, I wanted a very monochromatic matte look. Eyes, lips, face. And you don't have to worry about this bronzer giving you any sort of shimmer or luminosity. It's a very natural looking bronze. I have another one that I'm gonna help use to blend.
For blush, I'm using the NARS Liquid Blush. This one is the shade Orgasm. And a teeny tiny bit is really all you need. For the first two looks, I finished the face by using my Tom Ford highlighter in the shade Gilt Glow. But since I mentioned I want to keep the third look more matte, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. And my skin does have a little bit of healthy glow and luminosity simply because I used the Dior Air Flash foundation. So next I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm still using my Chanel and Dior pencil combination. Now to finish the lower lash line, I'm taking a small precision brush and going back into the Norvina palette, I'm picking up the shade Eccentric that we put all over the lid and I'm going to run that underneath the lower lash line. Same brush, I'm picking up the shade Volatile and I'm going to run that underneath the outer lower lash line. <laughs> and then I am going to blend that out, sort of smoke it out with a pencil brush. With a flat shader brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Base and I'm going to run that underneath my eyebrows as a brow highlight. Picking up my Stilo Yo Waterproof Eyeliner from Chanel, I'm going to go directly in the waterline. Because it is a darker look, you could skip eyeliner altogether and just do bold lashes. I am going to do a very, very thin line on top, but I'm not going to wing it out this time. For lipstick, I'm going to use the Rouge Allure Velvet 62 Libra. This is a very pretty nude shade with a matte finish. And that completes the third and final look. And that completes today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, Give it a thumbs up, leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. Of course, I will be linking all of the products from all three looks down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.